Oh, so this is where there's the two went to. So, like, that doctor doesn't need this giant lab anymore, does he? This giant waste of space that could be three defense matrices. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to XCOM. And uh, we're doing this little thingy assault mission where there's, like, a ton of enemies. But we've brought our best and maybe brightest. So we got uh, our good Psy Soldier Kant, uh, me, Katarn, Katarn's definitely gonna come on. I think, I think two sharpshooters is always great. Um, I'm not, I, I, I'm still on this, on, on the fence about the gunslinger stuff, but yeah, then we got, uh, our stealth soldier, Pat, of course, and Mr. Shiv, for a very difficult, well, this is just difficult mission. Regardless, what, what is, actually, you know, I should look, what is Pat exactly getting that Adam does not? Oh, the rupture is really nice, so we'll, we'll go with that. All right, let's uh, get going. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. As far as we can tell, this forge is some sort of alien production facility, most likely tied to that stuff we found at the Black Site. Advent and the alien forces won't be happy to see us, so expect heavy resistance. We have to do whatever it takes to find out what's going on in there. You know, the Sectopods are like the most uh, like adorable fucking robot I've ever seen. Because they look like a little chicken on like two two large legs. That's why I want one. They're adorable as hell. This is Avenger. The facility is in range. Move to investigate. All right. The squad is concealed. Well, let's uh, start us off with someone not important to just basically lead here. Let's get Mr. Shift to go up here. I like how it's like little gremlin scouts first. Why is that actually not a thing? Alright, we actually don't see anybody. Uh, what's a good sniper position? Holy crap, I can get like this rock here. That's like super sniper. It's, like next level sniping. Alright, go here. I guess Pat will go over here. I think stealth is gonna move maybe down here. And a rip will go and rip over here. Well, oh, here we go. I mean, I guess I might as well open up with these guys. I can kind of hear something else that, it, like, I think I hear one of the big robots. One sec. And by big robots, I mean sectopods. Uh... I'll move okay. over here if I don't see anything else. We don't actually see it, so... This is who we're gonna open up on. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. It's so cute. Alright. Yeah, yeah, it's time for guys. Time for the dream. You guys ready for the dream? Novo amigo. Novo amigo, guys. It means, it means time to hack some bullshit. I was like literally nothing there. <laughs> it's like this doesn't show up anymore. What am I hacking again? All right, all right, we gotta go for the dream, guys. Gotta go for the dream. Oh come on! Oh, I'm so sad. I, I think this game just hates me. I think it's just racist against Mr. Shiv. It must be. All right. Oh, they know. Oh, they doubly know. No, it's so. Why does that be so cute? I don't want to kill it. All right, let's start off with, uh, I guess, Pat over here. Actually, we have a bit of an issue here. Uh, mostly because I can't actually see anybody else. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about stealth here. Stealth, like this guy's gonna move here and possibly get a flank shot off or on her, so can't have that happening. I would like to soul fire maybe the snake, snake man over here, but it looks like I'm, 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like these guys are actually triggered. That's the thing. Because uh, nobody can actually see them. Maybe we should just deal with the uh, sectopod first and just pretend like the other guy isn't even going to be a problem. Because he, he very well might not be. Alright, so I'm thinking we move down here. And we throw a grenade at him. Because we need to we kinda need to strip some of his armor. Or oh wait, we have rupture actually. I'm gonna rupture him actually. Okay, well they can definitely see me now, because I can see them. Oh, that's a really bad chance to hit. Get shredded. Fortunately I'm so lucky that I actually hit that. Because that's gonna make this next part so much so much easier. Alright. 100%, 100%. We're gonna dead eye this guy. This could be a crit. You never know. No, it, it's just a miss. Alright, so for the shot that the other guy hit, I missed. Good times. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with lightning hands. Because now Kyle should be extra effective against him. Assuming that we don't have another grenade somewhere. I don't think I brought another one. Oh, I only have two people with turns left. Oh, shit. That's not good. But anyways, I, I think we should be good because because he's shredded. I'm, I, I'm fully aware you hit the plate. The thing is, do I want to snipe him or do I want to just continue to pistol him? I think that the individual shots of pistoling would be better. But Ken has the meme beacon, so if I'm not sure if I can if I can handle him, I might just meme beacon him. Uh, it's it's a it's a good question. If I want to pistol him or do I want to just snipe him? I'm gonna pistol him because I can do face off. I think so cute. Oh my god! All right. Actually, wait. Do I? I oh, know. Apparently, only one enemy is visible. Alright, here's my worry. I'm pretty sure he gets like two attacks in one turn. So I actually might just try. I, I just might go for uh, the kill, actually. It's like probably not the safest thing to do. Apparently, if I go there, I won't be able to see him. I want to move slightly closer, but it's not going to make a difference. Actually, I could shredder him, can't I? Oh, I just want some guaranteed damage. Let's let's shredder him. What's over there? We're gonna we're gonna shredder damage him. How much? Six to nine. I should finish him off. I think. I'll call him personal. I did it. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure he died because we've had bad times with him. So I think it's like for now for now on he's like although he's adorable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just finish off, finish off in the first round, you know. All right, now to deal with these two guys. No, not Kyle. Oh God, God damage. What? He's like pissed. He's like, why'd you do that? You got like a fucking one, one shot off. That armor's tough. That's his return fire ability right now. Ah, uh, I can't take a shot there. Incoming over here. But we're, we're, we're okay with this. We're okay with this. All right. Well, let's start off strong with. Uh, I, I wanna, I wanna kind of take him out, but we need Kyle to kind of move into safer cover. I think as well. I think at the time I was essentially a little bit worried. 100% and 81% on that guy. What does, uh, what does Pat have? Yeah, he's still got all his grenades. I'm gonna grenade this guy, I think. And then maybe I'll hit that guy too. Now I wanna mainly get his cover though. Uh, apparently no targets available. If I move Pat here, he can just get a flank off. But it's dangerous to do that too. But also I want Pat to probably get that guy. Oh yeah, uh, we want okay. We want Pat to to grenade, 
so that's not even in the, in the question book. Let's just take care of this guy, maybe. Grenade! I'll remove his cover, and I'll strip some of his armor. Because I remember, uh, Pat's first turn isn't ended by, uh, by doing an action. We did one good thing, and then we, uh, spend the uh, next turn continuing to shred his armor. Eleven damage. I remember he has two forms, so we gotta, like, I don't know. We, we still have face-off, don't we, with Kyle? Yeah, we do. We, to we totally have face-off. We can just do that right now. Every chance of hitting... Oh, that's a squad side shot. Oh, I'm debating how to handle this. Oh, what? Uh, okay, the camera moved on me, and then I went up there. What? Like, <laughs> literally at the last second. What? Why did I do that? I think, I think my mouse is kind of fucked up, so I'm going to say it's that. I'm going to just try and make this work anyways. Um, despite the fact that I, I just moved him into terrible cover by accident. I mean, I could aid protocol him too. What else do we have here? We have domination. No lance. Uh, we can only still fire this guy. This is kind of crap. I would have been able to, to handle this. I don't know, I, I just don't feel like loading. Let's do, um, cereal. Because I think I can just take one shot on the Viper and then get another shot for the other guy. I kind of, yeah, okay, yeah, we definitely got it. Alright, never mind, we can just, we can salvage this anyways. As mad as I am. Okay. I think I could soul fire him, can't I? Yeah, it works. Your body grows weak. Your body grows weak. Sounds like Scottish. It's the best. It's dead. It has to be dead. It isn't dead though. I, mean, I could just shotgun him too. Uh, it's probably not gonna kill him in one hit. I'll just I'll just bring stealth out of uh, out of this. Yeah, it works for me. We get two shots of the shotgun, so and we only need one. So go figure. Does it actually break her out of concealment? Yeah, it does. Whatever, you can just stay there. End my turn. I think it's like end key or what? There you go. Yeah, it is the end key, by the way. Alright. Re-enter stealth, and then we'll go... They won't see a thing. They won't see a thing, guys. <laughs> they didn't see a thing last time, apparently. Alright, we're gonna go up here. Huh. It was a very nice bridge with a nice truck on it, but there's like barricades on the bridge. How's that? That's like that's like the worst. This is the worst bridge ever. All right, well we're gonna reload Pat and start to move him up. Ready to engage. We still have domination for Can, so I think I think we're quite okay. I I, I don't think I don't feel the the particular oh, need yeah. to move up my sniper quite yet. The Pat can move up slightly. Probably gonna need Mr. Roboto Shiv. Move up as well. Actually, I probably shouldn't Overwatch with him. I forgot that if someone, if a patrol kind of gets into it, why is there, why is a Sky Ranger? Oh, that's where we landed, I think. This is Sky Ranger. All right, stealth. That's affirmative. Uh. Uh oh. She may have just revealed herself. I probably should put her into cover. That's normally what I do. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. Oh, wait, wait. She didn't reveal herself, I think. That was actually kind of lucky. 
All right, we need everyone to move up now. Because, like, you know, I, as much as I have a lot of faith in Squad Sight, I don't think it goes that far. I, I'm just saying. I'm speaking out loud with my heart. Is there any other high ground that my sniper can take, though, is the question. And the answer is probably not. That's why I kind of left him up there, because I was like, I, like, if there's another good position for him to go into, uh, I'd totally move him there, but... Um, I'm, I'm skeptical about moving him up here into this half cover, but... I don't know, we may not have a choice here. Because, look how crap the cover all is here. But, like, she didn't see them until she was on the bridge, basically, so... I'm gonna move him into the Running. full cover there. Guitar can take that. Mr. Shiv can go, I don't know. Right here. I'm all over it. This is probably why it's better that you know that ability that gives a free overwatch? Well actually that, that only goes to uh somebody else. Oh okay, there's another group here. They're just kinda chilling here. All right. Let's first things first. Let's move stealth back into stealth. Confirmed. All right, and let's try and find like there's a nice tree line here, and like there's a, a, like a, a valley here. They can only come across that bridge though. Uh, yeah, we do, we can't even see targets with the sniper. Okay, they don't have eggs. So this is like the worst case scenario for me. All right. I can kind of just, I guess, go up here. Absolutely. On Overwatch. Uh, Kyle can't. Uh, he can't Overwatch with them. We have to hunker him down. Like that's what I mean. Like Mr. Shiv is like, oh, like if I move here, and it's possible he gets flanked over here. So it's like I can't do that. Scanning. I gotta move everybody up a little bit. Alright, uh, I just want to make sure my sniper's up here before I do anything else. Although, I could just probably just go up here, and then sure thing. we'll see what happens. Actually, I don't think we saw them here either, to be honest. I think it was not until she got onto the bridge that she was actually spotted, but... Just then to be on the safe right. side, we will be, um... We'll be waiting. Covering now. Oh, wait, wait, shift here. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on anything fast. Alright, I think we're gonna now take a shot at someone, assuming I can see them, which I cannot. Uh, so... tough shit for me. Because this giant truck is in the way. I might move behind this, this, this truck here, but I think this is fine. Yeah, we're fine here. Alright. Never mind, we're gonna, we're gonna go right here. One more turn. It's not like we're being timed right now. It's it's refreshing to not have a timed mission for once, you know. But yeah, all right, sectoid. I probably should have opened up with Kyle because Kyle actually needs the level. We feel it all in us yet. All right. Um. I think, I think Mr. Shiv should move up here, but I, I'm not sure about that now. Maybe we'll just wait a turn and see if they just run into our overwatch. Tango pronto. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch. Overwatch. in. Because they kind of know where the shot came from, didn't they? Yeah, there they go. And why didn't Kyle shoot? Kyle has long watch. Kyle, why, man? I know you want to pistol everything, but damn. <laughs> Crits with snipers. Well, how about that? I ought to be against the rules. Okay, so they weren't triggered, so that's what we didn't shoot them. Apparently, the long watch stuff, I guess, doesn't work the way I thought it did. I guess it only counts if, they're actu if they actually spot you, which, uh, make which changes things slightly. We can't actually shoot this guy. You know what? Let's let's domination this guy. Oh, 60%? Only one successful, so we can try it. Join me. And it may not work. Oh, 
Hey, look, it worked. We have ourselves an Archon, guys. <laughs> this guy's gonna give a squad sight. Alright. Lead Shield Bearer or this guy. Let's do Jedi, maybe. It's a very low chance to hit, though. I've had worse, though. There you go. Got ourselves a free Archon. And we even killed that guy. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, stealth isn't gonna move up. I'm debating what to do here. I want to move someone up, like Mr. Ship can move up. I will also go up just, just slightly to the back, better cover. Wait, why, why is he not after the Archon? Oh, he is after the Archon. Alright, let's see what kind of neat abilities we get with him. Alright, alright, all right. This is like probably one of the more perfect things to, to for us to mind control, to be honest. We have blazing pistons. Launch to the highest elevation uh, launch to the highest elevation possible, then bombard a large area with explosive shells. Can't be done indoors. Or we could do melee attack. Wow. I, I like blazing pistons though. Oh, look, look at this shit. It's like it's got like an area of effect. So so he doesn't actually fly by himself. Uh, interestingly enough, they've they've made it like before. They, like they had a, an XCOM enemy. I know they had um, like flying. Uh, what, what was it called? Uh, it was like flying, uh, like flying shivs, and you had flying suits and stuff like that. And it worked kind of awkwardly because you had to like you, change your elevation and stuff like that for that kind of stuff. So let's just move this guy over here. Alright, so what's our chance to hit? So this is like 78 damage if I do this with 64. Why is this chance to hit so low? It's a flank, but his uh, melee attack is slightly stronger. Or not even, it's like it's like a higher range, but less crit. This is really awkward. Character skill. Really weird. Uh, I guess maybe just shoot him normally. Yeah, there we go, we got a crit on him. <laughs> get Archoned. Alright, uh, we gotta, we got we wanna give this to a way to somebody who needs a level, though. Uh, can't, can't level up through the traditional means. Uh, Mr. Shiv can use a level, I think. Yeah, but this is, this is what I mean, it's like, it's high cover, so it's not gonna do, it's not gonna do crap, so, whatever. Let's just, I was gonna think, I was gonna soul fire him. Uh, we actually still can. I'm trusting you here. He's still senpai voice. Don't worry, guys. All right, soul fire. I'm the elite officer. Oh, well, I handles that. That's it. You know the archons are supposed to be able to fly. They don't fly very well. Moving out. Then. I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. Also, that doesn't look like cover from that direction. Which is awkward. Alright, let's move everybody up. There's Mr. Shiv. Manny. I, don't, I don't think there's anyone else. I'm, I'm, I'm actually willing to chance it that there's nobody else. Already there. Because I'm really lazy. On the move. Super lazy. Like, like some, some like next level version of lazy. No, but like I think I killed everybody. They, they, they're probably gonna attack the Archon anyways. Yeah, see, we're fine. All right, let's see the building here. It's like a weird ass janky compound. I think I'm just blowing a hole in it. I haven't used grenades at all. Like, like why even use the door? Let's just make a let's like let's like make our own door. Uh, what the heck is this place? Okay, this oh this rock is low cover, but the other thing is not. Roger that. All right, I think we're not gonna go anywhere else.
Like, I could just use this guy to scout. Wait, he, oh, he has Overwatch, good. I was about to say, I'm like, does he not have Overwatch? Alright, I think I could just stay here. Kyle, Kyle, we want to move up, though. Kyle needs to move up. Mado. We, we, we might just make our own door, to be honest. I'm just, I'm thinking about it right now. I still get a free reload, but it's a free reload, so. Kyle, did I not make Kyle move up? Apparently not. Okay, next turn we make a we make a we make a hole in this door, I think. Or no, we can just go through the front entrance. No, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna make a hole through the door. Cause like I don't know I don't know about going up here. I'm also I just want an ex excuse to blow shit up anyways, because we haven't had that opportunity yet. I don't know. I think I should save the grenades though, but I have a lot of rockets and grenades and stuff, so maybe not. Also, why did I give the rocket to? To Pat, it, the rocket actually should go uncanned. All right, you know, what, let's just let's just go through the front door and just go like, "Hello," with this guy. I am one of you. All right, here we go. He sees somebody. <laughs> Traitor! All right, now, actually, wait, void rift that. Void rift. We haven't used that yet, have we? Uh, not nearly enough range. We got like two, two shots. We have a dead eye shot we can make with this one. Like that's not enough damage though. Sectoid. Why is the Archon like the best chance hit I have? Fine. Wait, I just killed my own guy. What? Oh, I didn't fucking mean to do that. I couldn't tell which one I was shooting. Fuck that. I'm I'm going back. Like it's just—it's because it's the sniper in such long range. I knew there was an archon in that group, and I was like, I was like, oh, I'll just take the best chance, and my game just crashed. Good times. All right, my save is not corrupted. It's fine. I'm just gonna do the exact sa same thing. I don't know why it crashed. Just, the game's—the game's weird. Let's just hope we finish this run before we get any like critical bugs. That's why I refuse to mod the game right now because I'm just like, uh, I don't know what it's, what it's gonna do. All right, I'm just doing the same move. I know they're there, but I'm not gonna—I'm not trying to cheese it. I literally just didn't want to kill the guy. I just, I, it was an accident, like now I think that it, when I look at it, yeah now I can actually, now that I'm actually looking at it, I can actually tell which one I'm shooting at. I completely forgot you could shoot your own, and also the health bar is a bit more blue. So, I know now. I know. Conchin 3 to something. Alright, uh... Who do we want to, who do we want to do stuff with? Headed there now. Also, the game, I don't know why, but it feels a bit quieter for now for some reason. You know what? This may be an opportunity to use the railgun again. There's, like, no fucking high cover at all. I mean, I just swear again. Like, I can't help it. I'm emotional when I come to video games. Um, no, but, like, seriously, why? Fire weapon at who? Wait, okay, I, I'm pressing... What the heck? Oh wait, that's someone else who can, who can shoot him. I'm like I'm like wondering who can, he can fire his weapon apparently at. I'm like um nobody. Where's uh Katarn? Uh, I guess Katarn's just gonna sit there. Don't like why why does everyone constantly want to betray our good friend there? I don't know why. All right, let's uh. Move canned up here. I'm trusting you here. Yeah, just like we're just out of range. Scanning. Is the problem. Got it covered. I'm gonna actually go over here like into that. into this kind kind of cover. All right, now I'm wondering what to do with this guy. Like, why why is it? Oh wait, whoops. Okay, whatever. He's gonna shoot. Oh, this guy's useless. Like, what, what What? the hell's with his health bar just blinking constantly? I, I don't really know what the heck's going on with this game right now. Like, it looks like he's missing health, but he's not, because he hasn't been shot at yet. Yeah, there you go. Executed? What? 
Oh, he got the he got the the thing where he he kills them in one hit. I forgot he even had that. That, that was like a five percent chance. What? What the hell did he just do? Did he do anything? Oh, he. Wait, he has that ability to bring people back? Oh yeah, that was him. Yeah, he had that. Sorry, I forgot. Dude, I totally forgot that they could do that. Is that like what they're both gonna do? Oh, don't just swing at my people. I thought Kand has an aura around him. Okay. Well, let me see who can. Does he have the aura? Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me the range of it. If you say so. There you go. Okay, so he's just outside of range of it. Look at this. Void Rift. Welcome Let's Void Rift them. The Welcome to the Void. I, I mean, I see a nice weapon in there, but I, I don't know if that... I don't think it does anything to it. Wait, wait, what? What am I doing now? Oh, I made him panic. Oh, I made a sectoid panic, nice. Oh, dude, he's just shooting at us now? Oh, he's shooting at his own friend. Nice. Alright. Also, I think there's a... Uh, a debuffs menu somewhere. Where is that menu? Yeah, there you go. I, if you hover over it, I'll tell you what what they're doing. I I I I I, I think I saw this before, and then I just didn't react to it or something or whatever. Or I was wondering what it was, and then I looked it up later. And I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Apparently, I can't shoot anything. I don't really want to take care of that guy. I, where's the other guy? Oh, there. Wait one sec. I can apparently see all of them. Like, why is this even like a... Oh, yeah, so you can see it's blue. It's kind of an awkward UI, and also 59% chance to hit. It's not something I'd bank on. Uh, I don't want stealth to break stealth yet. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I wonder if this guy will even pick that up. I don't think he will, because he's not x -Gum. Yes, and judging by the subject's condition... I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. Alright, I got two targets. One of them is, like, panicking anyways. And apparently, no, he can't pick that up. Oh, that made that easy. Who's the one who's... Okay, there you go. He was the one that was taking care of that one. Oh, this guy's still in in cover. Oh, uh, I wish I had Ken's, like, little lance thing. Alright, Katarn. Katarn's gonna move up there. We're gonna long watch. Although I think I, I think I could have shot him. Now that I think about it. Oh no! Yeah, we can shoot him. Let's suppress him. Sit down. Uh, let's have a look here. I kind of want to move up to. Well, this is apparently crap cover. Maybe we'll go here, or maybe like here, because I want to. I want to get this weapon, and I don't, I don't have many turns to do it in. I want Mel, guys. He is suppressed, and there's another guy to shoot him. At, to shoot him, but just in case, I'm not gonna do any kind of bold move. Just in case, guys. I'm pretty sure I could just at least sprint to it, you know, because he is panicked as well. I don't think he'll do anything. But you never know, you know. I think he just skips his turn, to be honest. 
Uh, apparently we are gonna have to basically kind of go right to him though. Who do we have for... well Kyle's right here. I can handle that. Alright, okay, Kyle's got this. Despite the fact he's in high cover, apparently it doesn't mean anything. Oh, uh, I also did lightning hand, so like he just basically just fucked his turn, so... Alright, Mr. Shift, go get the meld. First it's human bodies. Now we're finding Advent. Something tells me they didn't abduct these ones. Looks more like a production facility to me. The configuration is different. Is it possible? Could this be where the Advent forces are coming from? Nothing is beyond the realm of possibility when dealing with the aliens. Oh yes, Illyrium course and auto loader. I need a Illyrium course. Whoa! Whoa there. I'm down. Alright, let's uh, let's move up with everybody. No need to ask twice. My sniper needs to come up too. I'm gonna actually just look at something really quickly, because I think my volume settings were fucked when I... Um... Good to go. I don't know, I think the volume settings got messed up or something, or my graphic settings reset when, when I had to reload. It looks it looks fine. Uh, no, I, I want to save and exit. I turned up the volume a bit, just because, like, I, I, I think it went... I, I just... it feels like it went down just slightly. No problem, boss. But yeah, I, I don't really know. Orders confirmed. Moving right, let's out. have a look over here. I'm on it. Uh, let's reload your weapon. Okay, I'll go. Come get some. You never know what it could be. Oh yeah, you can. Holding position. You can reload and then do that. All right, let's uh, let's just move him in there. I mean, there's really no reason for me not to move him in first. Alright, so we're trying to get to this guy over here. Let's have a look at the map here. Yeah, okay. I mean, most of my soldiers are on this side, so maybe I'll maybe I'll just go in on that side though. Let's let Kai open this door though. Okay. Nothing here. Me mother. Why is this room still so dark? What? Alright, let's let stealth maybe have a look inside these windows or something. Moving on target location. Or actually just go over here. Yeah. Scanning. We, do, we don't know where the rest of them are, so we're just like, kind of like, playing it sort of safe, but... At the same time, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see down that hallway if I go there, so maybe I shouldn't do, like, make a bold move like that. On my way! But we'll go here. Yeah, we could see a little bit more, and it probably would have been much worse if I had moved further. Always assume, kids, that the game will fuck you, I guess. I haven't really got to use face off all that much here. Oh, yeah, Kant can move somewhere. Let's move Kant over here. Of course, it completely changed the position that I wanted him to go to again. The game has a habit of doing that. It's like you can't lock it in or something, but whatever. It's not like it was a disaster because it's just like, yeah. Like you saw where I, like it just kind of changed at the last second. I don't know why I did that. Like th this time my view didn't even change. All right, stealth can go. I don't know where stealth can go. I'm gonna move the Archon up here. Nothing over here. Uh, Mr. Shiv, I guess we'll scout this way. Kamano, come come guys. It's just so easy to me. Kamano. Alright, where is, uh, where's my sniper? Katarn will move maybe all the way up. No, he'll Got go it. over here. Moving. Pat will go over here. Go, go, go! Make sure that no one is triggered through walls. I really shouldn't be something I worry about, but it's something I worry about. Okay. Roger. Yeah, it looks like we're clear on this side. Uh, I don't know where Can's gonna go. 
Is he just gonna go I'm over here? here? Once again, I'm worried about the walls. Overwatch. I think I, I think the glitches I was having before. Okay, they're definitely like over here somewhere. What we're gonna do? We're gonna try and trigger them with the archon. Just because they always run into positions that like if I just run them in the middle of this room. This is Avenger. <laughs> can, can, can he do this thing? All right. So where is this? Where is this jackass that we don't see? I'm on the move. It's possible they're on the roof. Actually, now that I think about it. No, they're not because we can see on the roof. Well, I can still actually be on the roof. There's like a like one square of roof that I, I don't see. Hey, can this guy open that up? Because that'd be hilarious. I, I kind of just want to make the aliens do things. I think I think I, I at that last mission I couldn't make him do the bombs or anything. Oh wait! Oh 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 oh! oh. We saw a guy. He didn't get triggered though. Okay, where's what we're gonna do? There's we're gonna no go over problema. here. Like we could literally see him. I, I, well, you know what? You know what? They don't. They don't know he's mind controlled. So he's like, he, it's like he's like the the kind of like the boss archon is just like checking the, checking to make sure the, I guess that's the stasis tube. Yeah, he's checking to see if the stasis tube is all right. You know, like nothing to see here. Why do we constantly see this idiot? On Overwatch. Covering now. What was that? Standing fast. Alright, alright. Now that we know he's there. Can we actually open this thing? No, we can't. Like, I'm trying to click right now, I won't do it. So now that we know this guy's over here, let's just go over here. Oh, there's a robot there, too. Beep boop. Oh, uh, can we hack that? One sec. Where's, uh... It's not Katarn, it's Mr. Shiv. He has to have line of sight, I think. Yeah, he does. He's in Overwatch, isn't he? He's totally in Overwatch. But if I go here, I think I can see it then. No, I have to have line of sight. You know what? Let's just move him just to trigger their Overwatch. Fuck this. I'd rather he trigger the Overwatch than anything. Alright. Now we go over here. I never knew Haywire Protocol. It's almost like you guys hate fun. Because I'm going to have fun. I, I don't care. I'm going to mind control something. Like, someday I will mind control something. Temporarily take control. 49%, come on. Thank God for that. There, now we now we own him. He's ours. Uh, temporarily, though. Uh, how long does it last for, though? That's awesome, though. Like, it says temporarily, but it really should give me, like, an actual thing of turns, you know? How, how long do we own him for? I'd, you know, I'm pretty sure it's not telling you on purpose. Make you play tactical. All right. Uh, the question is, what do we want to do now? Because I can't shoot anybody. Uh, I think we might just use the, the little railgun beam, but I'm not sure. You got this guy over here and, and shoot this guy. Can we, like, stop shooting, like, our friends here? Shield bearer? No chance to crit, though. Let's get him, though. Because he's got a lot of armor. We got the shield bearer, right? Because this guy kind of moved as if I I, I shot him. Yeah, okay. No, I did, I did shoot him. That's so glitchy how his, like, health bar kind of changes and stuff. It, ugh, it's so annoying. All right. Uh, so now we use wall hacks. Okay, I'll go. Actually, I can soul fire someone. I'm gonna wall hacks. Yeah. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. <laughs> there you go. That dealt with him. 
shit's the best though. All right, Kyle is gonna just be useless Whatever because I kind of. Oh, I could throw a flashbang. Oops, flashbang. Ah, that's like a lot of. Scanning. A lot of stuff I can get out of that. All right, stealth is useless here. I guess I'll just be kind of watching. He's hacked. Okay. I I I just I'm wondering how many turns this lasts for. <laughs> through the through the wall, Katarn. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Kyle. Oh, what a grenade! Why did we not deal with that guy? He's helping us with the mech, though. All right, all right, let's get the mech. This game's really laggy right now. All right, so we got micro missiles. Nice. Do we want micro missiles him? He gets apparently two two rounds of that. Now yeah, we're gonna just bring him over here. On honestly, we shouldn't actually kill this guy with this guy because it's like it's like an easy. Wow, he still has a crappy chance to hit. Why does why does the advent suck in this? All right, let's let's just bring Kyle to like to shoot him. I'll take cover behind that robot. <laughs> Do the robot, <laughs> dude. It's a trick shot. It's fine. All right, Did now we're gonna now we're gonna kill him with everybody else because he's temporarily controlled. So I'm pretty sure it's just randomly gonna decide one time that that he doesn't need to be controlled anymore. I probably should have. Um, now I think about it, I should have actually uh, reloaded Pat's I gun, but that's, that's okay. Uh, heavy Mech will just die if I do anything else with him. Uh, Mr. Shiv needs a level, I think. The, 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 the robots just let us kill them. See, I think I think when we're when we're done taking back Earth, I think um, this is the way it's going to work. So, sectopods are going to become pets. For anybody to own at home, right? And then I guess uh, I don't know what else is there. Uh, actually, let's move up stealth. So I, I think the sectoids will turn into some kind of like entertainment race where they like they do like stand-up comedy shows and stuff. Uh, the archons will become uh, overseers and bosses and things like that. And now I can't see through the walls again. Oh my god. Horrible, and I just reloaded my weapon because I misclicked. Okay, can this, can this shit like seriously like please? I want I kind of want to see in that building. No, nope, I'm not allowed to. Fucking. This is the most irritating thing on the planet. All right, I'm just gonna zoom in my camera. It's like a little glitch. It's just for for whatever reason you're not allowed to look inside here. I can handle that. Alright, let's move myself over here. Ah, uh, here we go. I can move myself right here. Aircon can just, I guess, overwatch. I guess, I guess Canned will open the door. Alright, I, th I, th I think it's fine now. Yeah, now I can see in the building again. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Open stasis tube. Acquisition of the package. Move to evac. The cavalry's here. Isn't that the suit that we saw in the beginning of the game? I I think Can shouldn't be the one to carry that. Who should be the one to carry this? I would say stealth, but actually, Mr. Shiv can take it. That's fine. And now that now that there's uh, some Ready. assholes coming. We need to get on the roof. Or am I? I'm ready. Oh good, I can't see the roof now. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna go over there I'm, and I'm just gonna hope that nothing's there. Otherwise stealth is gonna may have to bail me out. Uh, nothing is here, good. I, like, I didn't actually scout that roof part. It just occurred to me, so. Uh, so Pat can make one move to the roof. 
So we'll go bring him up here. Not a problem. Katarn can come up here. Why can't Katarn come up here? Oh, because Pat's now, his fat ass is now blocking the roof. And now I can't see inside the building again. Oh my, this is the stupidest thing ever. Seems doable. Like, why do I have to do this every time? Overwatch. I guess, I guess since, uh, I think we're playing out here, so I don't think stealth needs to be in stealth anymore. On it. Uh, let's, let's move this guy out here. Uh, who's... Uh, this is canned. Oh my god, I hate this stupid shit so much. Move, move, move. There we go, now, like, it now opened up kind of thing, it's like, why? Staying put. Uh. To say that this game is bug-free is... would be a total lie. Do you remember when we used to worry about Sunlancers? I've got eyes on advent troops. Yeah, me neither. I don't think they've ever really been a threat, to be honest. I think they incapacitated one person, that was it. I ca like, Kyle just absolutely what wrecked that guys? kid. And we have like three flanks on these guys, too. Alright, let's start with um, Mr. Shiv is going to pick up that guy. We don't, I don't think we need a hacker at this point, so you might as well do this. Uh, how do we get outside? I think there's a door right there. Oh no, there's a door right here too. Alright. Well, before we start moving in, let's uh... Ah, uh, stealth is still in concealment. Uh, let's see, there's me. Let's, let's, let's start with Katarn, because Katarn can just pistol people like three times. However... There's like no angle where he can shoot multiple people because he's not actually outside. Like I'm trying to find a good angle for him, but like the, none exists. He can only shoot one at a time. It's awful. It's like the saddest thing I've ever seen. This is a sad Katarn. All right, well, that's, that's no longer on the agenda. Okay, let's just assume this guy's dead right now. Actually, I'm just gonna go right out now and go Finally. kill him. Like, we don't even need to be in stealth right now. They're on to me. And no one really cares, because this guy's just dead. This is like, this is the deadest guy I've ever seen in my entire life. Even more so than uh, Mr. Shiv in that, la that, that other mission. I even used the double thing there, it wasn't even necessary. All right. Now we have Can. Can can solve siphon somebody, so I think he, I think we'll get this guy because he's like he's almost dead anyways. Might as well Your just ignore his cover. Can is hilarious. And that takes care of him, and I can just I can just shoot that guy. So he's pretty much just dead. Let's just go with that. Um, but I would like Kyle to get some. No problem, level boss. up, so. Thing is, I don't think he, I don't think he can kill him in one hit. Oh no, he doesn't even have he doesn't have his thing. He can only finish him. All right. Maybe where's Pat? Pat's blocking this thing like a dick. All right, On we're gonna go way. here and we're gonna grenade him actually, or we can rocket him. Either one. We'll grenade him, I think. The reason why we're gonna grenade him is we're gonna move that cover. Actually, I don't think I can. Can I even remove that cover? Yes. I think he can. Grenade out. So I'd like to remove it just so Kyle can get his level, maybe. I don't know if Katarn's gonna be able to do it though. Yeah, you'd have to crit for this to w work. Uh, who else do we have? We have Stealth. Oh, Stealth can leave. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's just melee this guy. Let's do a melee attack. Just because that's very unlikely to kill him. I think it's unlikely. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now Kyle definitely has this. Come on, Kyle, you can do this. 91. There you go. 
All right, Mr. Shift can start running away now. We're gonna keep her here, and I guess I'll just move to the the dust off site. All right, it's on the turn. I, I pressed end and it didn't do anything. Uh, it's because apparently they have to finish moving. Enemies moving on our position. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm totally gonna do. Uh, I'm totally gonna kill zone this. Like at point blank, we're gonna kill zone this. This is gonna. This is gonna be hey stupid guys, as hell. Oh man. All right, let's uh, get the archon up here too. Like, like we're just gonna all be here, all around and like huddled in a, in a, in a circle here. Copy that. No, no, you're gonna stay right there. Go, go, go! Your Shiv can go right here. D'accordo. And Cand will go up here too. On it! Because they, they can't actually attack me in the same turn, so. I think that's everybody. I, I think we can leave with, with, with uh, Mr. Shiv though. Yeah. He might as well leave. He's got the body. He's got the package, if you know what I mean. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. All right, time for the most awkward Eight advent seven. landing. Oh, what the heck? I press the button, and then like this tree started fading out. <laughs> Where's <is> Arxqualm? <laughs> they have their backs turned too. They're like, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wait shit. Wait, oh, I didn't get to do my my kill zone. Hit the armor. It was so sad right now. Oh, that guy went down there. What a jerk. Well, we got Pat here. Maybe maybe we'll uh, rupture him. Yeah, I think we're gonna rupture him. You want some? Oh, you joking, dude? Is this guy gonna kill us because like we're, we were just like bullshitting around? Negative damage. Oh my god, that makes me sad. You know, what? no, that's, I think we're fine actually. We get a free reload, right? Yeah. So we got free reload with with stealth here, this. and we're gonna just double shot this guy. Yeah, it's like a, it's a crit, and it's probably another crit too. Rapid fire is so can't strong. Handle me. Can't handle me, guys. Where's Katarn? I'm going. Okay, now if I do, uh, so let's see. Let's do. Let's let's actually kill this Archon guy. Re reload. No, no, no. I want to light against. So if I do face off, and I start off with that guy, yeah, I, I can totally do that. Let's do lightning hands on him first. We're gonna just pull out this turn anyways, like there's no reason for us not to. Sorry, Archon man. You served us well. As he's he looks pissed, but he's like He's battle frenzy. Alright, we can just pull this person out. Let's do fire another pistol at this guy. Got a crit. Alright, we can, be, we can now do face-off. Look, like, why? Because I think Kyle's going to get a level up if we do this. Kyle gets experience, so it's, it's, it's all good. Alright, now we do face-off. Yep. Wait, Pat didn't end his turn, did he? Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't you shoot the guy behind you? Oh, now, wait, now you're going to do it? Nope, you didn't shoot the guy behind you. I don't know why I did that. Get out of here. Yeah, actually, Pat can't go anywhere. I just realized this now. If you say so. It's not good. Oh well, let's just void rift that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that yelling. All right, so that guy gets to live, I guess, which isn't good. I, I, I had planned this out slightly differently. Uh, you you just stay here just in case Pat goes down. 
And we need to pick him up. I think a patch would be fine, though. Oh, gr grenade? I think the most insulting thing ever. Why would you do that? Yeah, we're just gonna pull out. Screw that last guy. And and yet now everything everything's on fire again, as usual. I was like like he had a flank shot and he and he decided to grenade. I I kind of questioned the tactics. Uh, that was easy. I probably could have brought Adam along. Now that I think about it, because Pat's actually no, I used Shredder at the beginning, didn't I, to take out the Sectopod? Okay, never mind. Most under fire, Archon. <laughs> the poor Archon. He was the MVP, guys. I I still think Faceoff should have shot the other guy, but I think it's because I started with the friendly. Or yeah, no, it's because I started with the friendly, and then it's like, oh. You didn't actually want to shoot the other guy. I'm like, no, I did. It would have been funny if he, if like, with face off, he shot like all of my allies that were still up, because they started with an ally. Like the entire thing was kind of awkward, but whatever. I don't know. All right, well we're done there. So let's have a look at what we got now. I think we left off and we we're like researching a ton of things in the shadow chamber, but everything like is really short in the shadow chamber, so it doesn't matter. Gravely wounded Katarn. Uh, that's right, he got shot by something. I forgot what, though. He didn't even get his level up. That's so sad. He, he shot like a billion things. I think he needs like 37 kills to become Colonel. I guess he's one kill off. Even then, I think Pat killed something, though. I don't know why. The confines of the suit we recovered, we have found what could very well be the prototype for Advent's seemingly limitless forces. Even focusing my efforts solely on this research, it will take a significant dedication of time and resources to fully analyze this specimen. Oh, there's your, your this findings suit. at the Forge facility are disconcerting, Commander. If the aliens are somehow assembling or growing the Advent forces in mass, our efforts to defeat them will be that much harder. I will leave you and your team to pursue this further. New objective added. Complete the stasis. I'm okay. keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. We got one unstaffed engineer. Uh, we got supplies, so maybe we'll actually build um, resistance comms. Maximum power consumption reached. Resistance. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. We have like one extra slot here, which we don't really need, because that there's literally nothing else I can build here. Well, actually, I can upgrade stuff though. Forgot about that. I can upgrade two things actually. This gives me five power, right? Actually, oh, there's a whole ton of things that can be upgraded. I don't really need it though. All right, uh, let's have a look then at the map then. Uh. I don't think there's any other weapons or anything I wanted to make. Wait, did it go up again? I have no doubt oh. your recovery of the unknown specimen and the destruction of this facility will prove to be a turning point, Commander. Excellent work. I guess I technically didn't need to do that other mission beforehand, but I guess it, it's good either way. Alright, I think I want to do Africa. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Africa's... I, I don't know why Europe is like... I don't, I don't get to do anything there, but... I guess we'll make contact with Africa. What does lock and load give me? Sims and weapon upgrades may be reused. I, I don't know, that's kind of like meh. I, I just have to plan it out accordingly. I get enough, I think. Uh, so I guess we'll make contact then. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Well, it's a good thing that I'm building another resistance comms. That's all I have to say. Attempting to establish. <laughs> Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, 
It is well past the point of feeling hate. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new secret now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. Think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to die and sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. Nice, it seems super We're ready unsafe. To move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. I don't know. Can, can I, um, are there more, any more? Yeah, okay. So no new research can be started at this time. What? Aw. Oh. I had fully expected to find that the aliens were conducting questionable experiments involving human captives at the black site we raided with the help of local resistance operatives. What we did find was something more reprehensible than I could have possibly imagined. A facility solely dedicated to the rendering and refinement of human genetic material on an industrial scale. The aliens have crossed the boundaries of known science. Consequences be damned. Wonder what the current bonuses for my uh, other suit are for the spider suit. Like uh, four, one, and twenty. All right. So let's build like one race suit and let's see what it does. Uh, items. I mean, I really like the grappling hook, though. Better have a grappling hook. Okay. Let's see what that does now. Uh, let out. Our stealthy suit, the Wraith, provides a range of movement that technically violates the laws of physics. There's also a grappling hook for good measure. Fuck yeah, grappling hook. Yeah, okay, so violates the laws of physics or whatever. Um, this apparently gives two more ability, 25 dodge and 6 health. That's actually something really good for stealth. Now that I think about it, because moving through objects and... And the mobility bonuses actually sound really good for her. We should do that soon. Uh, I think I have one more uh, core, but I don't think I want to use it on that, to be perfectly honest. I think I, I want to build something else. Well, let's have a look at what we got here. Like, maybe an experimental heavy weapon. Like, we got one core, guys. Blue screen protocol, what is this? Uh, developing munitions capable of disabling them. Oh, this is for mechanized units. I might actually do this because it might help hacking or something. I think we'll it's get more important. Right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Can I uh, can I put an engineer on this? Uh, I'm gonna take one off something else. We don't need someone to do this. Like basically double the time though. 
Someone's in the workshop. Someone's healing people. I think we need to heal people, too. Fence Matrix doesn't have anybody. Okay. I, I, I don't think we need any more engineers, though. That's the thing. It's because I think once I, like, finish this and then this, it's like, uh, what else do I need engineers for at this point? Like, oh, to man the Defense Matrix. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, let's continue with the... Uh, scanning that we were doing earlier. We've locked in the coordinates Shen and Tigan pulled from the Codex, Commander. But we'll have to make contact with the local resistance cell before we can move to investigate the site. New objective added. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. It's a good thing I started doing uh, Africa, though. Even though, I don't know about the bonus, but there's really nothing else to go for at this point. Hello, Africa. How are you doing? You're a mighty fine place. With the broken house there, and a water tower in the background there. We're reading you. Right, we got... Oh, now we can get Europe. Apparently Russia, don't, I, can't, I can't get Europe. I was wondering what happened to them. I'm like, oh, I, I'm like, I guess like the advent, like, you know, just like destroyed Europe. Oh, shoot. Look, look at this thing. Fire when ready. All experimental weapon upgrade. Uh, ammo weapon and grenade. Persian ground objects. Are, okay. I kind of want to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. But I don't have enough contacts anyways. So it's not like I can do it. Go to maybe the black market and sell some shit. Or wait, how far are we away from the supply drop? Like 12 days. I literally, I can't actually do this. I was hoping to make the Avenger little tower thing. So maybe what we'll do is we'll sell like the spider suits or something uh, that I had before. I think I, I think I made two, didn't I? I might as well just get rid of them. Screw it. And then I'll go make the tower. Because I have to make a tower there anyways. I might as well make it there. Stasis vest, superior auto loader. Oh yeah, so the grenades are useless now. And we can just sell that. Okay, there we go. Now we got like 70, 70 dollar Renos. Probably could sell like something like stun lancer corpses, and then like I'll, I'll keep like ten of everything, at the very least. And let's just let's just sell one more of something just so I get like 150 supplies, just because autism. Uh, also buying stuff. I can buy someone some things for. I could rush research and stuff. Some of this stuff, which would be the worst because I I kind of like. I don't know, I think I need the intel though. One superior repeater, laser sight. That repeat is the repeater the thing that maybe kills someone? Like it has a chance of killing someone. Ah, oh, fucking 175 supplies. Market is open. Oh boy. I don't need this many alloys. Screw the alloys. Sell alloys. There we go. Problem solved. Setting course for the West African sector. Let me just make that thing. I don't know if there's something else I have to make. Like, I, I, I totally forgot. Like, I, I was playing this yesterday, and I don't, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, hey. Just like the one we found the commander in. On the surface, yes. But in function, ah, commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid, mutine, even the species our soldiers refer to as berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way, 
but I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. Okay. So... I don't know. They're like Reapers with a bit of like Hitler involved, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's see, let's see if I can complete Our any of these research researches. Is progressing as expected, Commander. Yeah, now this is instant, so I don't really want to do it. I'm lazy. What's the other thing we have? We have an encrypted codex. Might as well do it. I don't really see the problem that too. Uh, apparently, Candace still just doing some training. All right, what do we got now on the map? New targets acquired. All right. Ah, so we can also we can see the the things here too, which is great for everything. Adds one block of progress to Avatar Project. Seeing as I've undone it by a significant amount, that's not really a big deal to me. Reduces alien facility counter by two weeks. Or... Places hidden faceless enemies on each mission. Haven't we ever dealt with that? Has that ever been a problem? Oh, we got a specialist from this. Oh, I don't think I really care. What level is a colonel, though? That's a question. We don't need engineers. Uh, I think I think we'll want to do this. It's very difficult, though, guys. Very difficult. Because, like, the faces aren't really a big problem to me. Uh, what level is a colonel, though? That's a question. Oh, that's like, that's the maximum level. Of a soldier. That's ridiculous, actually. I mean, how many specialists do I have? I don't know, I got this one here. The thing is, I don't really need a specialist, though, because I have two. So it's really not a big deal to me, actually. Like, if it was like a Colonel Grenade or something, then maybe I would have done it, but... Specialist is kind of like, meh. So I'm going to go for the one that gives me supplies. Because, then again, like, what do I still need to spend supplies on? Like, I don't even care about the Dark Event, because the Dark Event isn't actually a big deal to me. I mean, not, it doesn't say, like, the, the area will be inhabited by a billion sectopods, so, like, I don't really care then. Hellweave and nano scale Vest. How about the... I think the Proven Ground has some things I still want to make that cost supplies. Then again... No, it's, like, literally no supplies. Okay, you know what, no, we're gonna just counter whatever Dark Event that annoys me the most. Um, so I guess we're gonna go and do... The Faceless I don't care about, but I guess I guess uh, if I don't have to do another alien facility, I guess that's that's kind of good for me, so... Enemy unknown? What? There's an enemy unknown there. Oh, we're gonna actually face a new enemy in the, in the next Setting thing. course for Sector 14, East Asia. Yeah, we're totally gonna do this. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do this one, just because that's the one that... Even though it's like an engineer who gives a crap, it's like whatever. I'm at the I'm at the point where I'm just like I don't really care what I get anymore. So, as I said, we don't need supplies. We don't need a lot of stuff. So, because when that supply drop comes, I think we're basically done. Like we're just gonna upgrade everything and then be done with it. So whatever. Anyways, uh, that's it for today, guys. And remember, we will be watching. <laughs>